Hello, Can Cream here, CC for short, and today I would like to talk to you about Silver Spoon. Here we are, face to face, a couple of silver spoons. Hoping to find we're two of a kind. Make it a go, make it grow together. Or to be exact, is Silver Spoon a bully? or a lackey. MLP is a ripe ground of fan theories and headcanons, and the less concrete information a pony has about their character, the more viewers seem eager to fill in those gaps with their own personal ideas. One of which that I have seen pop up several times has to do with Silver Spoon, and just what her connection to her friend Diamond Tiara might be. Interestingly enough, there does not seem to be as much debate about Diamond herself, while I have seen some give their personal spin on exactly why the young filly acts like she does, there are very few people that will argue that she's anything but a bully. However, when it comes to Silver, those ideas seem to change. While some are ready to call her just as bad as Diamond, there appear to be just as many fan works that excuse her actions as someone who is faking her attitude. The most popular I've seen involving Silver simply trying to appease her friend. On the surface, it's an interesting theory to subscribe to, and I won't say that I've never thought about it myself. The idea can even be somewhat supported by canon, since we rarely, if ever, see Silver spending time with anyone outside of Diamond. It appears as though she is really her only friend. The idea that she demeans the CMC only as a way to appease Diamond does fit, but does it really prove anything on its own? What other pieces of evidence can we scrounge together from the show that could say whether or not Double S is a follower or a leader? For this, the Silver Spoon episode I would like to point to is, well, every Silver Spoon episode. That is to say, the common thread that flows between all of them. Whenever we have seen Silver, Diamond is always with her. And when it comes to bullying, Diamond appears to be the initiator every time, while Silver simply follows along with whatever path is laid out. In Call of the Cutie, Diamond is the one who begins making fun of Apple Bloom and Twist for their blank flanks, as well as using her upcoming cute Sonera as an excuse to further humiliate them. In One Bad Apple, Diamond is the first to start criticizing the pumpkin float, though granted Silver is very quick to catch on. Although it might also be worth noting in this episode that Silver only seems to accept Babs after Diamond compliments her. And next, in Flight to the Finish, while Silver does lay into Scootaloo's inability to fly extremely hard, the idea did originally come from Diamond. In this light, Silver does appear to be one hell of an attack dog, just point her in the direction and off she'll go. Yet I don't feel comfortable calling her a follower just yet, and here's my reasoning. It's only a quick scene, but... During Pinkie Pride, as Diamond is singing, she knocks her own treat off the table in lieu of taking Silver's bigger, better one, which is the kind of behavior you'd expect to see from an alpha in a follower-leader relationship. Had matters stopped there, then I'd be ready to call this all the evidence I need. But something interesting happened in this scene. Silver takes her drink right back. Now, granted, she does do this while Diamond is distracted, but it's still a clear act of defiance. Had she really been worried about any sort of retaliation, she wouldn't have dared do it, even though it was rightfully hers. And look at her. Silver is clearly not worried or sorry about her actions. That's some serious backbone right there. So maybe what this is suggesting is that Silver does not see herself as Diamond's follower, but her equal. If so, that would certainly put more credit into her being a bully herself. What makes this fan theory truly hard to debunk or prove is the fact that, unlike Diamond, we've never seen Silver on her own and acting on her own accord. During the events of Ponyville Confidential, we see Diamond Tiara running the school newspaper with an iron hoof. She pushes and bullies the other students into giving her the very best in her pet project so she can drink in all the glory and attention it reaps. And when she can't intimidate them into working how she wants them, she seems very willing to resort to blackmail. Diamond is clearly doing this only for herself, 
there is no one else who stands to gain anything from her actions. So this works as a pretty strong glimpse into her innermost character. But what about Silver? Well, until we see her alone, acting outside of her friend's watchful eye, it's really hard to tell. The closest we've come is during Family Appreciation Day, with Silver being the first to clap for Granny Smith, but even that alone doesn't say too much. What we can say is that Silver has at least acted like a better friend than Diamond ever has. We've never seen her take anything from her, for one thing, and during the end of Call of the Cutie, when everyone starts ignoring Diamond at her own party, Silver at least attempts to cheer her friend up, albeit by mocking the other ponies. It's a little twisted, but hey, it's the thought that counts, right? What we really need is one episode where we see how Silver acts alone. Speaking personally, I feel as though Silver is actually neither a follower nor a bully, but someone who has just fallen in with the wrong crowd. For all we know, Silver and Diamond are the only two upper-class fillies in Ponyville, so it would make sense that they would have been introduced at a young age by their parents. Same social circle, after all. It could very well be that Diamond is the only friend Silver has ever known, that by adopting her personality, this is now the only way Silver Spoon knows how to act. If my own personal little headcanon is right, then if Silver could somehow get away from Diamond and be shown some true friendship and patience in the way that many pieces of fan work like to show her receiving, then it is possible her attitude could change, that she could grow and mature into a truly kind-hearted mare. That is, assuming there's any truth to this at all. Heck, it could very well be the case of what you see is what you get. Though as someone who weirdly kinda likes Silver Spoon, I do hope there someday proves to be more going on with her than that. But what about you, dear listener? Is Silver Spoon a bully or a lackey? Is her attitude for real or is it a persona she's adopted for her friend? Post your own thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, and as always... Stay pony, my friends.